Hi everybody, Leanne here. Welcome to my kitchen. We've got a little bit of a kitchen experiment going down here tonight. It could be a hearty appetizer or a part of a fabulous barbecue dinner. So stay tuned to see what all these goodies are going to turn into. Before we start grilling up those yummy meatballs, which I seasoned with our usual burger favorites, our burger seasoning, and a little bit of, oh gosh, I have beef and steak seasoning in here as well, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper. I'm going to do a little kitchen surgery on our rolls here, and I'm making a pocket in the top of each of these dinner rolls. We're gonna brush them with softened garlic butter, and then when the meatballs are done, they'll get dunked into my homemade barbecue sauce and then popped into these little pockets. And then we'll see what happens next. The meatballs are on the grill. So while those are cooking, I've taken that softened garlic butter and added just a tiny bit to the opening of every bun and then lightly buttered the outside of every one as well. So while these are heated afterwards, they will turn into garlic bread. Our meatballs are done. They've got some great caramelization on them. And as I shared earlier, I season these as I do all my regular homemade burgers with a little Epicure burger seasoning, some beef and steak seasoning, generous dash of Worcestershire sauce and salt and pepper. They look fantastic, so they're about to get sauced and we'll move to the next stage of our epi. The meatballs were grilled. Now I have my dish of homemade barbecue sauce made using our barbecue sauce seasoning. So I'm dunking every meatball and snuggling it into that opening in the bun. So I cut a little square, then I made slits in the corners to make sure the meatball will fit right down inside. So instead of pigs and blankets, it's kind of like a barbecue meatball in a bed. So we're gonna come back in with all the rest of these. Just make sure we have space to snuggle in that meatball. There we go. And I think what I'm gonna do is come back in when I'm done the dunking and just spoon the rest of this barbecue sauce over the meatballs because it is yummy. So we might as well use it. And then we are gonna to top the whole thing with shredded cheese. That is why it's down in a foil baking pan because the shredded cheese is gonna go on and the whole thing is going back on low heat on the grill, indirect heat until everything is warm through and the cheese is melted. So we've got our meatball with barbecue sauce, seasoned up like a burger, we've got our garlic butter buns, and then we'll have our topping of cheese on there. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty good to me. I think I need a little more barbecue sauce, so I'll just add a little bit more to make sure everyone is saucy. We don't want anybody left out, right? There we go. Oh, these smell amazing. So you could use a combo of cheddar and mozzarella. You could use Monterey Jack or Pepper Jack cheese. I know around here we tend to put shredded cheddar on our burgers, so that's what I went with for these as well. So as I said, back to the grill until everything is all melty and bubbly, and then we'll see what we've got. So our awesome stuffed buns are going onto the grill. I've only got one burner on here on the side. So I'm gonna put those right in the back, right next to that, and leave them a couple minutes. I'll keep checking on them until everything is melty and ready to go. Looking good. Let's take them inside and see what we have.